Hey everybody, it's Brian here. Okay, so I am going to show you a basic install with uh, on FreeBSD, which is a Unix version, not a Linux version. And I am going to show you some basics of it. So why am I doing this? I'm just playing around right now, but I want everybody to know something here. Uh, if you followed me in the last few videos, I've talked about well, maybe I haven't done it, but I've done a couple of postings on jobs. Now, one of the firms I really like in terms of technology is Renaissance. I just looked at a bunch of rare job postings. They don't put up a whole lot. Uh, so I'm not even going to make a video out of it. But if you go into these job descriptions that you'll find here at this link, this will show you in all the technical jobs that they want you to... And I'll tell you why um, in a little bit. But if you read this article, this will tell you exactly what I'm talking about. FreeBSD is a Unix open source version. It seems to be the most popular out of FreeBSD and OpenBSD. So FreeBSD is the popular one. Now, uh, I'll show you a query that was put up uh, by somebody. Is FreeBSD minimal? And um, in there, uh, when you install, I'll show you how I do it. But in this link, uh, all you got to do is really just put in the minimal base system and then install the components that you want uh, through. Well, I'm going to show you how I did it. So when you're just dealing with a minimal base system, it's just that minimal. There's no extra bloatware that you get with a typical uh, installation of Linux. So when we're speaking about a high frequency trading type of system, you want as little as possible. In fact, you want to be able to build your own kernel, but that's probably a little overkill at this point. So your next best option is to do something with like FreeBSD, the Unix version. So if you go into my link here and continue along, uh, what I've done is I've installed this on this Mac with VirtualBox, which is free, on a virtual uh, machine. In there, uh, you'll notice when you go to look for FreeBSD download, you get various ISO image files. The latest version I got is this 10.2, and I'm using the AMD 64, okay? So that's the actual AMD uh, version I am using. So from there, let me just hop into the environment. So if you go into VirtualBox, uh, I'm just installing obviously FreeBSD and running it. The installation was real easy. You have to worry about connecting the internet. It took care of it all for you. This is just a, all the options I picked were just all default, but I did take out all the choices of what components I wanted to install. So I didn't choose anything, not even the docs. So that's what I went with. And then I've installed only, the only two things I've installed was the compiler, GCC for C++. So when I start uploading my own code in C++ or C, I can compile it with the um, GCC on top of Java because I'm seeing a few needs of Java here and there. So, so that's what and how it sits. So uh, that's all we have on this system. And the other thing is I was given the option to install extra users. I didn't go for that. I just have a basic root user. That's it. That's the only user I have. And this is just for testing and playing around. Obviously, I wouldn't put this uh, a real production environment like this. So in this link here, I've given you how to install GCC, which is really easy. It's kind of like the a a APPT get, or like a package manager. So all you gotta do is just load in this package install, that's part of the base install, and just go lang GC GCC, and that will install the latest stable release available for your current version of FreeBSD. Instructions right here. 
Uh, the next thing, I tried to install Python. There's different Python packages. I went with the 2.7, which is 2.7.11.11. 11. That's the exact version I'm using on this Mac. But I figure I'm not going to be using a lot of Python in this environment because, hell, um, I'll be running my own Python scripts on my own desktop, namely whatever it is, Mac or whatever, when I go live. And the other thing is you may, as I said, want to use uh, Java. Now, this command here, pkg install openjdk, will install the openjdk. It will not install the hotspot one from Oracle. Now, there's a big difference between those two. The openjdk JVM, Java Virtual Machine, with the compiler is open source. It's true open source. Whereas the Oracle one, Hotspot, is more proprietary to Oracle, which is the original Sun. So that's all fine, but just as from a trading tip, I will tell you this. Interactive Brokers, the TWS, the Trader Workstation, uh, will not properly run under the open JDK at all. Uh, there's a lot of compatibility problems. So you need the hotspot. So again, you will not be running Interactive Brokers TWS on FreeBSD. This is basically a stripped down version of your own code that's been built for this environment for this GCC compiler. If you also want to run Java, go ahead as well. Okay, so everything's installed here. Um, the only thing I can really show you is what, I'm, what I've got here is this uh, uname, which shows the version and the actual distribution of FreeBSD. So this is the FreeBSD 10.2 that's been installed. So when you install the Java, the one I have here is the exact one I wanted or the latest uh, right here, um, using this, instead of just using OpenJDK, just use the latest current stable version, which is J Java 8. And uh, I'm, I'm, you just do OpenJDK 8 and voila. And it includes the compiler too. So not only is this the JVM here, but you can also uh, get the compiler as well. And that's kind of helpful. So. It's there if you want it. You don't need the compiler, but it's there. Now, as for the GCC, um, I'm not sure what the, ver I, I did get the version, uh, but whatever, there you go. Java uh, GCC 4.85, that's the latest version. I think it's up 5.2. So it's a few versions behind. You need to be aware of that when you write your code to make sure it's compatible with the proper GCC version, uh, and in this case, a 4.8. Okay, so that's all I really want to show you. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool to set up with G, uh, FreeBSD. And uh, I just want to show you that environment. And, and uh, it's very minimalistic. Also, uh, when it comes to security, uh, there's some lots of uh, postings on that. So you can definitely check that out. I'm not going to worry about it at this point, but you can easily um, lock it down by updating all the latest uh, versions you have of tools. Now, there's also something I want you to be aware of when it comes to building out whatever platform or even system in, in C++. One of the things that you should check out uh, here uh, in this link here, uh, one of the links, actually I'll open it up, has listed up some tools used by Rentech. So again, uh, I got the uh, entire job descriptions listed in there. And the big reason I do that is um, in here, if you look at the URLs, uh, they have this tag here called true. So that tells me that these are turned on to show the job description. So these could get turned off at any time and these job descriptions will be, will vanish basically. So I, I put them in this posting until I hear from some lawyer at Rentech or something that I've done a bad thing. 
Um, but I'm sure I'm sure okay for now. Okay, so what I want to show was the technology here that's revealed in this posting. Here we have some of the network protocols they use and the Unix Linux. Now here, I want you to understand that right in these descriptions here, um, they're, they specifically say Unix. So I couldn't imagine them being on Linux. It's, it's Unix. So I think FreeBSD is the choice. Um, but the one thing I wanted to highlight here, really important, these tools uh, used by the folks over at um, Rentech. So here we have a position called the Network Engineer. These are the tools that they use to tweak and watch, I guess, the traffic uh, between their systems to monitor it. And each one of these tools is like an open source C++ project or C project that they, they use to monitor tools. Uh, another thing is um, they really watch packet level traffic analysis. I think that is one of the big keys behind their success as a high speed trader environment. Um, in fact, I, I just want to throw this uh, out there here. Uh, their system administrator, or sorry, their mail server. They're not using standard mail server stuff. I think they build their own mail server, it looks like, for their own security. So that's how, I guess, paranoid they are. Uh, I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. But anyways, uh, the takeaway of this is to to take check out these these tools that they have um, listed here. Uh, I think that's quite interesting. Everything else is standard, Java, C++, blah, blah, blah. And uh, quite an interesting uh, set of uh, job descriptions here. Anyways, I just thought I'd show that, and that's what inspired the free BSD, uh, you know, testing it. But it's pretty cool. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.